So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans. More specifically, we're going to be looking at their Dawning 2023 set pieces. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's essentially we've already reviewed the armor of the Dawning 2023 sets right here. And we've done the shader video, which is right here as well. And we've already showcased the Hunter sets right here. So what I'm talking about specifically is the Dawning 2023 set. We take individual pieces from that set and then make individual sets from those pieces. So that's pretty much what we do in these situations. If we get a new armor set, just expect five videos from me because that's how I usually operate. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really, really would appreciate that because I do think my content is worth it. And remember to hit the bell no notification to keep up with my current content. So I appreciate y'all. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, I think this one is the best one and I don't even think I'm surprised because the helmet is probably one of the dopest helmets we've got for the Titans in a long while. I think it's super cool. The only negative I, I said about this helmet is the fact that the sides of the helmet, specifically the like glow, is super dark. So I would have liked it if the glow was a little bit more further out and then the dark the dark like like color could have been on the edge of the helmet or the visor that would have been better because i feel like it's too much darkness but yeah i really like this set for the helmet obviously snow plume helm for the arms ursa's meridimus ornament from the ursa Furiosas. for the chest piece meridian constellation plate boots the care more engraves greaves and then the thunderous impact mark so let me talk about this one i love and I mean, absolutely love combining the Ursus Meridimus ornament with the Amrita's Dream Shader. Unfortunately, I don't think Amrita's sh Dream sh Shader is currently available because it was part of a season pass. I would love to know if that changed, but I don't think it's available right now, which is unfortunate because I definitely think Amrita's Dream is the shader that Ursus Meridimus has on it, like just by, by nature, because it's it hits all the colors it's a purple and a white that's all you really need so for this one it's really cool because i really love the fact that the amrita's dream on the helmet took the purple instead of the yellow i'm just not the biggest fan of yellow glows so when i saw the purple i immediately fell in love with it and then when all of the set came together i was like this is the coolest one ever unfortunately i don't think um the ursa furiosas are as meta as they used to be so that is kind of unfortunate, but I still love this aesthetically just because it looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, I'm going to be honest with you guys. A lot of people are going to say this is boring, rightfully so. It's just black, but I have reasons for this. So for the helmet, Dendrite Shimmer Helm, this is literally the reason. <laughs> Dendrite Shimmer, if you guys don't know, the helmet is so cool. It's such a dope helmet with the caveat of it shaders really terribly. It is one of those helmets that only take the off color so that's why i use arable's glance because a the glows are all one color which i really like and then b it's all black um it's all one uniform color which is what i wanted as well for the arms snow plume gauntlets is what we're using the cart the imperium cartographer plate hump or chest piece is what we're using for this and then we're going to be using the nightly noir mark because uh again this is going to be one of those sets that is even and when i say even it literally means symmetrical if you cut it in half it's going to look the same regardless of what side you're looking at which is what i was going for and then for the exotic we're going to be looking at the um abeyant leaps just because again it's the whole like symmetric uh, symmetrical thing that's why i'm using it so i actually really like this set so much so that like I, I would use this on my just everyday look, but unfortunately I just have other sets with the Abay and Leafs that just look way better. So this one will definitely be in my back pocket, but I won't be using it that much just because again, I have other piece sets that I just love way more than this one. That being said, I still think it looks cool. I would definitely go in and try to find better shaders for it because the, I think the biggest problem for me is just the, the all black um, is, I don't know, man back then if you were if you were to ask me like back in d1 i would have been like this looks amazing now that i've been doing the fashion channel for quite a while just all black just really doesn't do it anymore unless there's like a thematic reason like specifically like if i'm going for a tactical look then all black makes sense so i would probably just go back into the drawing board with this one and try to find something that goes well with that helmet 
As for the next set, we're going to be using the Snow Plume Plate and the Snow Plume Mark. This one, I'm going to be real with you guys, is an L of the whole old video. Not saying it's terrible by any means. Uh, it's just that it doesn't really wow me as much as I would, would have hoped, considering the last one, I think, aesthetically looks cool. This one, I'm not saying looks bad. It's just I'm not the biggest fan of the chest piece. So for the helmet, Meridian Constellation Helm, for the boots, Forbidden Visage Greaves, and then for the chest piece and mark, like I said, Snow Plume is what we're using. For the Shader and Crucible Metallic is what I'm using specifically because it, I like the red that it gives for the Meridian Constellation, or yeah, for, for the Meridian Constellation Helm. If you guys don't know, Meridian Constellation Helm tends to try to stick to purple, and the Crucible Metallic just turns it all red, which is why what I like, but usually the Constellation Helm likes to stick to purple and you can even see it with like certain golds you'll still like see a glimmer of purple which is why i find it annoying but that's also why i'm using crucible metallic like i said so this one's not bad like definitely for the exotic it is the second chance gauntlets i forget what the fuck they're called but it's the one that you get the extra shield and honestly the whole reason for this is because it's not only thin looking but it also still has the shape of the chest piece intact if that makes any sense other exotics that i try to put with it made the whole silhouette look way too bulky and this one still has the silhouette looking thin but also the shoulder like the gauntlet or not the gauntlet, the pauldrons do make the make the whole set look a little bit more weighty but it doesn't take away from the whole thinness of it i i hope i hope i made sense but like specifically like with doomfang pauldrons it looked way too bulky it looked like I had gorilla arms, which is why I didn't like. So that's why I stick to this exotic. <laughs> and then last but not least, we're going to be using the snow plume greaves. Now this one is cool because the shader is such a different feel. And I also think the candescent mark is a good choice for this. Let me explain. So for the helmet, nightly noir helm is what we're using. Minimum gauntlets for the arms. Comet stir and dream ornament for the curious of the falling star and then the candescent mark and snow plume grief. So let me explain my thought process with, with this one because it, I'm really happy that I really thought about this one because it came out really cool. Shadering, we're using Gamekeeper and this shader is really weird because I see like whites and grays. There's nothing like that in this shader. It's a lot of like, like metallic, not brown, but like just like a metallic color. And I think it looks really, really cool and even in the boots, you guys will see that th there's some blue in there as well. So I decided to use the candescent mark to like really have the difference of like pure armor with like a like a big mark of just cloth, which is what I think looks really cool. It gives this Titan a more like night guardian type thing, which is super dope. I definitely like this one. It's not my favorite because I honestly the first one is still my favorite. It's just, it hits so many marks. It has fur, it has purple, it has white. It's just like a lot of the colors look really cool, but also the boots and the chest piece have leather, which looks really cool when you combine it together. It's just so many things hit the mark for me for that one. This one, however, it hits the mark as well, but not as big. I think it's the shadering, honestly, but I don't think, the, the, okay, so here, let me, let me talk about something. The problem with the shadering is not that the shader is bad by any means, it's just that this is the best shader I could find because Comet Stir and Dream, the ornament is pretty terrible when it comes to taking shaders. Uh, not the plate, the plate is fine. It's the fact that the like inside of the plate, there's like this like universe type thing that it looks like that actually takes colors horrifically. It's probably the worst ornament that takes shaders in the game personally, just because the colors are just fucking out there. But I definitely like this set and I really like it. It's a close second. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. This is really, really cool. And this one will probably be the new or like the new look that I have for Comet Stern Dream or more specifically, uh, the, uh, Comet, I for the fucking exotic. I always forget what it's called, but yeah, I think this is going to be the new look that I have for it just because it looks amazing. That being said, if you were to ask me like, what would be one thing you would switch out? It would probably be the Nemean Gauntlets just because they don't look bad let me just say that they don't look bad with this but i would like an arm that has the same feel as the snow plume greaves just because there's engravings in there and the engravings have different colors in there so i would want some more variation with coloring for the arms so titans let me know what you guys think i definitely think two of these sets are absolute bangers so much so that 
I will be using those um, sets or those looks for that exotic that I paired it with. The other two, I'm not saying they're bad by any means. I think they're pretty cool as well. Specifically, the black one I think is really cool. If I went back into it and found like a really good shader with it, it would look amazing. The other, the third one, I'm going to be real with you guys. I just don't like the chess piece. The chess piece is like the one thing that I was just like, like not struggling with because I had this one pretty fast. But at the same time, I was like, I really just don't like the chess piece. I like the, the front, but I don't like the back and I don't like how empty it feels sometimes. So let me know what you guys think about this armor set. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.